Hi everyone, this is Nurse Anna from NurseStudy.net and now we're going to be doing 15 quick nursing tips and facts. Enjoy. And if you would like one of our free audio books with NCLEX questions on ACX or Audible, the links are in the description below. Enjoy the questions. Post-op priority. Always assess airway first, followed by breathing, circulation, and consciousness, ABCs. Incentive spirometry. Encourage use every one to two hours post-op to prevent atelectasis and pneumonia. Dehiscence versus evisceration. Dehiscence is wound reopening. Evisceration is protrusion of organs. Cover with sterile saline gauze and notify the surgeon immediately. DVT prevention. Encourage early ambulation, leg exercises, compression stockings, and adequate hydration. Signs of hypovolemic shock. Tachycardia, hypotension, cold and clammy skin, decreased urine output. Treat with fluids and identify the source of bleeding and fluid loss. NG tube placement check. Verify placement by pH testing acidic less than 5 or X-ray confirmation. Orthostatic hypotension. Defined as a drop in systolic blood pressure greater than or equal to 20 mm of mercury or diastolic blood pressure greater than or equal to 10 mm of mercury when standing. Teach patients to rise slowly. Surgical drain care. Empty and measure output at least once per shift. Monitor for color, amount, and consistency. Wound infection signs. Redness, warmth, swelling, purulent drainage, pain, and fever. Chest tube bubbling. Continuous bubbling in the water seal chamber indicates an air leak. Intermittent bubbling with coughing is expected. Post-op urinary retention. Suspect if patient hasn't voided 6 to 8 hours post-op. Assess bladder and consider a straight catheter if needed. Paralytic ileus. Bowel sounds are absent, and the patient may have abdominal distension and no flatus. NPO status and NG tube may be required. Surgical consent. The surgeon explains the procedure, the nurse only verifies understanding and witnesses the signature. PCA pump, patient-controlled analgesia. Only the patient should press the button. Educate family not to activate it. Post-op fever timing. Less than 48 hours is usually inflammatory. More than 48 hours may suggest infection. Pulmonary embolism signs. Sudden shortness of breath, chest pain, tachycardia, and low SpO2. This is a medical emergency, notify the provider immediately.